of all of you, but my wife works in design. And so design blogs and magazines show up in our home. And if you follow these things at all, you know that the Scandinavian concept of huga has become a thing. It's a word that usually gets translated as cozy, and the pictures you see in these magazines are, you know, a lot of shearling blankets draped just so in front of a fire, but huga isn't just a design trend. It's a way of life. And the Danish food writer Trina Hahnemann likes to translate it more as lived in and intimate. And she relates that to food, to setting a summer table with things like parsley stuffed roast chicken with a splash of cream, or by using simple spices and sing one at a time. And with Midsummer on its way, our contributor Shauna Siever talked with Trina to learn how to get into the Hugo spirit. Trina Hahnemann, such a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you so much for having me on the program. Now, Trina, this concept of hygge has become a bit of a buzzword, and it seems to be sort of a you-know-it-when-you-see-it-or-feel-it type of thing. But can you 